G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today we're looking at April 11th, 2025's Thermo Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how are you doing? Um, oh, I, I air fried some leftover potatoes and it's pretty good. Um, I can't wait to snack on them after I've solved this puzzle for you. Um, we are a gas genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you. That's it, you. Uh, the person watching this, uh, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Hat times are a marker of how fast you solved a puzzle. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. All right, gang. That being said, let's do it. Um, this is uh, Thermo Sudoku. So, uh, we've done these on the channel many times. So, uh, each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. That's what we mean by normal Sudoku rules apply. Now, the other thing is digits along thermometers must increase uh, starting from the round bulb. That's it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, that being said, give it a go. I'm going to now. So, um, if you haven't seen it before, this is a seven cell thing. So the highest this can, uh, the lowest this can be is one to seven. Highest it can be is three to nine. So if we're pencil marking it, we only need to essentially put three digits on there because there's only ever a range of uh, three possible values it can ever be. So uh, if you're like, how is he doing this? Um, I can double click on a thermo cell and just kind of raise it up. Um, uh, it'll select all identical cells. Uh, if you are a setter, something I found recently is if you uh, change the size of your thermometer, um, Sudoku pad will no longer be able to recognize it essentially. So be careful if you're poking around. Now, uh, let's clean up some of our pencil marks. So. Um, as soon as we get what, if you've got conflict checker on, uh, like I do, cause, um, one of the things you notice is some of these digits go red. Now, uh, key part, whenever you're pencil marking thermos is, uh, the second you get one at like the start or the end of your range of digits that you can possibly put on, it means you can do some real damage. But speaking of doing some real damage, we have a couple of digits down here. Uh, which just are sorted. So we can put four, three and four. This is now six, seven, eight, and nine. Over here, this has to be four, which makes that a five. This is a two and this is a one. Only thing we can le left we can put in that row is a three. Uh, up here, five, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, we take five out of here, and if this can only be a two and this needs to increase across our three, four pair, it must look like that. Uh, take three out here. Uh, this is six, so that's seven, eight, and nine. Uh, take the five out, take the four out, because uh, if this was a four, this couldn't increase. Uh, we'd take the four out, take three out. This is, uh, yes, uh, three and then four. Uh, and now up over here, this is seven, eight, and nine. And we can take three out over here, making this a one, two pair, and this a one, two pair. This is a one, two pair. And let's have a look. Well, actually, before we do anything else, let's clean up the rest of our th uh, corner boxes. Uh, two in that corner pocket, uh, nine and one in that corner pocket, uh, nine and one in that corner pocket, and this is six and nine, which go that way. All right. Um, rather than pencil mark anything here, I know that that starts with a three because, uh, it's a five cell thermo, so it can only go one to five or five to nine. And the lowest digit that can fit on there is a three. Only thing between three and five is a four. Uh, only thing after five that we can now put in is a seven. And after that has to be an eight. Can we pull the same trick up here? Yes, we can. That's seven, that's an eight because after six it has to be seven, eight or nine don't work. And we have a nine there. Uh, let's go the backwards direction. Uh, three, that can either be a four or a five. And this can only ever be a three. Uh, that's it. I've got the rest of this grid pencil mark. So let's do it. Five, three, uh, this is a four, six pair. Uh, 
this is a two four pair. Uh, we can do this one, which go like that, which is gonna, oh, that's gonna do some damage. Two and four, uh, one and two. Uh, let's go this way. This is five and seven. This is six and eight. Uh, three and one, two and one, two and one. Uh, six and eight over here. Uh, this is four, five and seven. Seven, four, five. Uh, eight over here. Uh, nine and seven. Five and seven. Four and five. Two and four. This has been uh, Thermo Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Uh, still is not my first name. Uh, William is. Um, but uh, that being said, wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, or good night. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.